Thank you. This is exciting. Thank you. Thank you. This is why I got into rock and roll, for the excitement that I feel right here, right now. I always wanted to be a rock and roll star. You know why? Well, I'll tell you. Because girls go crazy for rock and roll stars. Don't you? You guys are normal during the day. You put them in the front row of a rock and roll show, they go berserk, man. What? <laughs> I want some of that in my life. <laughs> just once, I want five, or two girls, it doesn't matter. Just once, I want 5,000 girls going, Wah! They <laughs> women don't do that for comedians. <laughs> I've noticed over the years I've been doing this, that women sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, have a harder time having a good time at a comedy show, more so than men do, and I don't really know why. But I read an article the other day that may explain it. It seems, according to this article, women have some sexual attraction for men who have great senses of humor. <laughs> See? I wrote that article. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep reading it till somebody buys it. Well, what's going on in my life? Uh, I got my dog fixed. He's a cat now. <laughs> and he is scaring the other cats in the neighborhood because he used to be a Great Dane. <laughs> He's just a big cat now. He kind of roams around the backyard going, meow, damn it. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. He was a cat trapped in a dog's body, a CBS miniseries, be there. <laughs> Starring Miss Piggy. And Richard Chamberlain as a tormented veterinarian. I had a busy day today. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I had a fly in my room. I didn't have a fly swatter. All I had was a volleyball. I beat him 21 to 17. Ever have flying dreams? Dreams in which you fly? A lot of people do. Most people dream when they're flying that they're flying over mountains or valleys or they're soaring over beautiful landscapes and it's a great dream. I have flying dreams, but in my dreams, I'm two feet off the ground and I'm going a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> it makes for a long night, y'all. <laughs> Only thing I want to do when I wake up is take a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> I've got a lot of time. I go to the movies a lot. I like the movies. I get to go in the afternoons, too, when they're cheaper and they're not as crowded as they are at night when you guys have to go. Next time you get an afternoon off and you want to have a good time, go down to one of these movie theaters that seats four or five hundred people and go in there when there's only like, you know, five or six people in there. Go in there and sit next to somebody. <laughs> and make a big deal. Make the guy move and everything. Hey, pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> I've seen this movie eight times. <laughs> I just come here to watch you. <laughs> hey, 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 where are you going? <laughs> Too much time. What else can I tell you about myself? Uh, I'm suicidal. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate that. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm going to commit suicide anytime soon. I have any real intentions of doing it, but I could do it. And I'm practicing my scream, because I'm going to be a jumper. <laughs> and if you're thinking about jumping, make sure whatever you do, you pick a building you can handle. Don't pick a building that's better than you are, because you don't want to embarrass yourself. <laughs> you're going off the top of a building. And...
tried shooting myself, but you know when you get your pistol in your mouth and the barrel touches a filling and you get that... <laughs> Attempting suicide is against the law. Committing suicide is perfectly all right. Some sort of an incentive program, I figure. Attempting suicide is against the law and is punishable by life in the electric chair. They never turn it on. You have to sit there with that goofy thing on your head. Sorry! Who I apologize to? I'm sorry! I don't understand capital punishment. I find it somewhat cruel and unusual, therefore unconstitutional. I think if you're going to have capital punishment, I think you ought to at least sneak up on the guy. You've been convicted of murder. You are sentenced to death. You're free to leave. I don't offer that as an alternative or an explanation. See, I don't understand it. I don't understand laws or politics or religion or people. I don't even understand the most simple, basic laws of physics that you live by every day. See, it seems to me that if you're in a jet airplane and you're flying north at 600 miles an hour and you're walking south down the aisle trying to get to the restroom, it seems to me that if you jump up in the air, the back of the airplane should smack you right in the face. <laughs> but it don't. Try it sometime. I like telling of a bunch of people that because I know one of you is going to be on an airplane next week going, I don't know, man. That guy could have been lying to me about this. I don't know.